Hey guys, uh, we got the DC-3 out here. It's been about eight months since I've flown it. And uh, in the move over here, a uh, Christmas tree fell on it. So check this out, I'm gonna rebuild it. We got a couple ribs here broken in the fuselage. There's two here. The department of wing here, they got broke. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. And there's two ribs that are right on the cowling on this right engine. Um, and then the also, uh, the last flight that I had with it, the landing gear ended up failing. Uh, I think something with the linkage uh, where the servo's at broke, so I'm gonna have to tear the ring apart and fix that too. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. And then we'll get... First piece I'm gonna work on fixing is the horizontal stabilizer and the rudder. So to fix this, what I'm gonna do is use a T-pin and poke it through the covering into the balsa lid. And then I'm going to use a CA glue, thin set CA glue, and pour it down into that hole. And the balsa wood will soak up the thin set CA glue and make a strong joint again. Once I have these pieces fixed, then I'll just use my heat gun and tighten up all the covering. There's a few ribs broken inside of the main part of the fuselage, so I'll just cut a couple pieces of eighth inch balsa wood and use thin set glue and tweezers and get them placed where I need them inside the fuselage. And uh, it was such tight uh, space I couldn't really get a good camera angle of it. Once you find all the broken ribs and just glue them back with uh, CA glue and then uh, we'll tighten up all the covering. Unfortunately, the spar ended up getting broken right here on the wing, so I have to cut the covering back here and uh, re-glue the spar. And then I also add an, a little piece of wood uh, to brace it a little bit stronger. And then we'll tighten that covering back up, and then we'll start work on the landing gear. To repair the DC-3 landing gear, one of these axles, uh, the solder had come loose, so I just added a little bit more solder. Make sure to use a lot of flex uh, here on these joints, that really makes the solder stick to the metal wire really good. Uh, the main part that uh, broke though is the connection from the servo to the metal rod that goes through the center of the wing to lower the gear. Uh, I didn't have the gear adjusted quite right, and so when it came down to land, it was adding stress to the servo. And if the DC-3 landing gear is set up correctly, it should not have any stress on the servo at all. All the weight of the landing should be placed on the gear and in the wing, and not any of it should be on the rotational force of the servo. So I spent all my last night rebuilding it. Uh, I got it all ready to fly. I did some adjustments on the landing gear, and now we're going to go out and try to fly this thing. If you guys haven't seen my build videos for this airplane, make sure to check them out on my channel. Uh, it was This was a really fun plane to build, and uh, it took quite a while. It's a lot of work to build a balsa plane, but it flies really well, and uh, I was glad I brought it back out to the field to go out and fly it. I've actually redesigned the landing gear uh, using a 3D printer, and I'm going to be planning on using those uh, in another build here pretty soon, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys can see all the stuff I'm working on. And uh, flying the DC-3 again flies really well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm working on building a lightweight 3D printed airplane right now. It's going to be really cool. Look out for my next video.